Another piece about this is just vertical drainage. Water does have to come off of your roof somehow. Uh, they only capture 50% of the water. So vertical drainage, sometimes you have the interior ductile iron pipes that come down. This is an existing building we were looking at for retrofitting with an eco roof. And this is just um, interior drain. But what's, when we're promoting uh, low impact development, green solutions, those kinds of things, the getting to an interior ductile drain is difficult if you wanted to connect that eco roof drainage system to another vegetated system, maybe down on the site. And so these are uh, great for export of that water quickly out of the system, but they're not ideal for um, considering, I guess, uh, LID techniques. And also, they can export heat up out of the building if they're not insulated correctly. Here's just an example of, uh, this is the Water Pollution Control Lab up in um, uh, St. John's, or just south of St. John's area there, and real simple uh, system of connecting water to a green, this is a swale, infiltration basin down at the base of the building here. So there's no cost for pipe. You know, all those d downspouts had to come down and come across the building, so there's no cost for that. And just a fairly simple pitching of that roof and connecting it to that green system is real simple. This could definitely have a, an eco roof on it and have the same, same uh, scenario. You just might not have as much water coming off of that roof. We'll get into whether this is still permittable next week, and I hope it is, because this is this is our showcase that we did in 1996, and it's like, yeah. you know, it, you save money. You don't even and you yeah. don't have to have the pipe going down. Yeah. The top, so you Why have less materials, it? stuff like that. Anyway, so. Why wouldn't it be permittable? Oh, I yeah. Let's ask the question now. <laughs> Either is this still permittable or no, it, 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 it's not? It's not in building building code issue. It's and, and more from B B B S saying that you need you need to take care of your of your own storm your, your storm water on your own site, and they they, they will always want to get, get good gutters and down down the down top, and they will probably either require uh, dry wells or so, so, soakage soakage trenches. Okay, so not the issue of what's on the ground, okay, so the issue of the water getting to the ground, in this particular case, by it just freely flows right off into the facility. So that space, because, uh, I mean, you know, basically everybody uses downspouts, but there is a possibility, there are other projects that don't use downspouts, but there are a few. So we were just using this as an example to say, you know, it, it's technically not a people room. Customer is this drainage, but it is vertical drainage. So if we came in, BES, this is our building, if we came in and said, or let's say it's not BES, let's say that we're a private developer and we have this exact situation, it's going to fly off into the stormwater facility that's in front of it, could we do that? I would, I would, I would think that you would have to have to file a, 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 a kind of appeal. Yeah, okay. So we'd have to spend a hundred bucks. So a hundred dollars. Yes. Well, I'll send you a few. Must be one of those. The Chinese Garden had to get a variance for the drip pile. Right. Right. So give me something. Sometimes. <coughs> You know, I think that's actually a plumbing code issue, and, and there is a, a building code interpretation out there regarding gutters and not gutters uh, in, in the plumbing code. And yeah. as I recall, it says basically, okay, you can do something because there's this rain drip product out there that triggered this, uh, but. You have to deal with it essentially the same way you would if you had the gutters and downspouts. That is, you got the, the gutter collects the water, it brings it down, and then it keeps it away from the building foundation, and then it sends it somewhere. So you have to design where the water is shed to protect the building foundation and direct that water in an appropriate way. All right. All of what we're talking about is doing it in the appropriate way with all of those safeguards. And this building was definitely designed yeah, with those issues. Would be, be that. Yeah. Right. right. I think you can do 150 square feet of roof drainage without a gutter in Portland. I believe. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. well, Peter will get into that next week. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>
You can, maybe. maybe. So it's so anyway. it's eleven forty-five, and we promised you you guys lunch, and I see some yawns out there. So let's just break for lunch. We're coming back at one fifteen, and we'll get started. We're just going to finish up building design real quick. I have a couple more things to touch on, and then we'll roll into membrane discussion. <laughs>